What's good boys, in this video we're gonna be taking a look at the split close formation. Uh, gonna give you some cool concepts out of it for passing the football, as well as kind of teaching some more principle based in terms of like what makes a good offense year in and year out. And uh, I thought this would be kind of a fun video to do, but before we start, I did wanna let you know um, that we've done a lot of this kind of stuff in the Patreon. So if you're not a Patreon member yet, it's only $10. Uh, to become a member it'll get you access to all of my man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks um we've done ebooks on tight y off uh, out of the jets playbook we've done a couple other formations as well out of the jets but what i wanted to do today was teach uh kind of from a perspective of understanding meta and then applying that to whatever formation it is you want to work with so uh we're going to do that out of split close today so uh one of the meta formations obviously in this game is gun tight and um, this is it's a really good formation. There's a lot of things that you can do with this formation. Uh, just going to set some audibles here. Again, we're going to get to split close in just a second. But did just want to quickly go over, like, what are some meta concepts out of gun tight? And really, there's a couple that I wanted to hit highlight. The first one is the slot po the slot post play, uh, where you basically do something like this. This is really good for attacking man to man. You got a slant. And then you have a post concept um, over the middle. Now, when you run the slant post, generally speaking, especially if you are running it from a compressed set, let's say that they go zone. If I run this from a uh, compressed set such as this right here, yes, this is good. But what will happen is when I try to throw this on the sideline, you see that the grid system that Madden is based off of that quarter or outside third is going to be able to play it. But if I were to flip the play and I was to run the post route to the right side of the screen, okay, so it looks something like this, and they're in the same exact defense, I'll be make it a little bit better by baseline and pressing, you'll notice here that this, because of the grid system, now this post route to the right, you can cut it off and they can't play it. That's the um, short side, wide side uh, in terms of how you utilize clear out routes. So another example of a really good play is the bench concept. There's a lot of different ways to run this concept, uh, but one we're gonna utilize here, um, you know, maybe it looks something like this with a motion out uh, slant or uh, post, depending on, you know, whatever you're doing offensively. And you'll see here that the corner route is gonna be good, short side floods. If I was to run that same concept to the other side, it wouldn't really be as good. And then another really kind of meta uh, style play here would be something like this play seams. We have these seams here, PA shot seams at a tight offset. And then, you know, you can kind of just essentially you have a bench concept on the left. We know that these corner routes do a really good job of attacking man coverage consistently. Corner routes and then sharp cutting post have been some of the best routes in Madden for years. You also have this double corner concept here out of drive corner. So those are just some some context for uh, these are some meta some meta concepts, right? As Leon St. Castle just bagging me on the left side of the screen, okay? But these are some meta, meta route combos that we know. We know these are good, and if we do them out of split close, they're going to be good as well. So how can we take some of the things that we know to be true and make them true in a formation that we wanna run? Well, a lot of it does kind of look at, okay, let's look at some stock routes. So we've got halfback wheel, we've got PA slide, we've got a lot of good plays here. I'm gonna utilize, um, let's go through and just see wide receiver corner, for example. This play is really, really effective. Um, you have an interesting post route on that side. Maybe in this formation, I want to run the ball a little bit more. So I've got power row and fullback inside. And then, you know, you've got the trail route. We know the trail route is one of the best routes in the game this year um, from the fullback. So we'll just get on the field. We'll talk about wide receiver corner. So wide receiver corner, if you look at this real quick with me, you're going to notice a couple things with this play. This has a sharp cutting post route. So this post route looks very similar to the post route that is in like curl flat out of church tight end. It's not a skinny post like this one. You see how this one from halfback wheel is a little deeper and it's going to run across a little bit more, uh, more, more deep. So if I go with this wide receiver corner play, what I can do right off the bat here is just simply slant Barry. Maybe I want to block a guy to get some extra protection. And now I have a slant post concept. And so you see here, I can attack over the middle with that slant post concept that we know is really, really, really good. We know that from other formations. Now, another thing that I can do, if you take a look at the halfback wheel now, is with a simple streak of Eric Berry, maybe, you know, again, depending on how I want to set this play up, maybe I want to leave this skinny post, but also maybe I want to just put him on um, an in route or something like this, something simple. 
Now I have a flood concept to the right side. So right off the bat, I have a way to attack the middle of the field and I have a way to attack the um, the sideline, uh, the, the right sideline. So where's left to figure out? Really, it's trying to figure out how do I attack a couple other areas and spaces. So here's PAF slide. Notice this post route is very similar. So if I have the ball on this hash mark, I can utilize this post route to flood the, the that side of the field. So here we're going to go with a streak to Carmichael. And then maybe we want to take this... Um, also, you can use motion as well, of course. Um, but, you know, maybe we're going to take this Barry and put him on a slant and motion him across. And now we have that slant post concept. But if you look at how we're going to utilize it, now we're attacking deep on the left side and then intermediate over the middle on the right side. So you see how this can kind of work hand in hand. Now, another way that this can work hand in hand is by use, utilizing um, a motion snap corner route. We know this to be true out of a formation such as U-trips that if we run something like this, now we have a corner route that we motion across and we, we know that motion across corners can beat man pretty well. And then you also have Eric Berry coming over on that route. So that's another thing that you have uh, in your arsenal. Let me give you another one just for fun. So the same thing with PAF slide. Again, we have Cromartie on this deep, uh, this deep route. We're gonna block our running back. And if you just look closely at this concept, you're gonna notice it looks very similar uh, to another concept that you might know. So if I motion Barry out, you're gonna see here, we've got the drag to the back. We've got that high post route that's gonna get over a lot of zone drops give zone a lot of trouble. It does also a man beater as well. But if you think about this, this is very similar to the PA read concept that is so popular out of bunch because we have that motion slant and you see how we've down just in one little seven minute video, taken a lot of different concepts to create one of the better offenses in the game. Um, another cool little fun little trick um, is you can motion this out, motion the C route out and this is a different C route than what you have out of bunch. So you see it's a little sharper and can beat man coverage a little bit differently than something that you might have ran previously. Um, another thing that you can do, this is kind of getting into a little bit of uh, semantics here, but if you take a look at this, this is something neat I think that you can do. So let's say they're running a lot of cover three or zone on you. Um, you can take your running back, put him on a streak. And then you can take uh, Barry here and we can turn this into almost like a bench or smash style concept. And then on the left side, a um, couple different things that we can do. Uh, really what I like to do is, um, again, just a basic in route, maybe smart route the route, something like this. But what you'll see here is the running back on that streak a lot of times, which that was a bad example because he got bumped. But a lot of times running backs on a streak will help clear out zone um, and make it a little easier for you. So again, you can utilize this. Again, this is a short side of the field uh, principle, but this is actually a pretty interesting concept. So you see right here, now eh, I played it pretty decently, um, but there, that is something that you can you can obviously uh, uh, take a look at. Okay, you can uh, it, it does vary a little bit in success in terms of how the running back runs the route, but you would be surprised uh, just in how well this concept does online. Um, this running back streak, if he can get up field here, you see if I wait on it just a little longer. Yeah, not quite there. Okay, let's scrap it, move on to something else. But another thing you have going for you, back to that PA slide thing, guess what we can do now? Because we have Hira Master um, or Slot Apprentice, now we can run something that looks like this. So it looks like we're going to flood the left side, right? But now we're going to come back across. And so you're running PA slide, you got the back, you got the post, and you got the motion slant with the deep fade route. So again, you can use multiple concepts to accomplish multiple different things. So there's a little mini scheme out of split close for you today. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to learn more about this offense, you can get all the in-depth stuff by becoming a Patreon member. that I get you the full scheme, full eBooks, everything for just 10 bucks. And you get all of them. You don't just get one of them. You get all of them. Um, everything that we've done over the course of the last Madden season, you'll get access to all of it. So uh, thanks for watching the video. Head down to the description and go join the Patreon for just 10 bucks. Uh, again, the link is down below.